In this video, we will learn the concept of join with exclusion. So for that I have created two tables which are table store A and store B. First let me query the table and let us see the schema for the table. Let us execute the query. So these are the two tables which I have created. So store A has two columns which are A underscore ID and name and store B table has two columns which are B underscore ID and name. And uh, the ID columns are unique for both the tables and the other name column gives fruits which are available for sale in the particular store. Now let us try to answer a few questions which are written on the above table using the concept of join with exclusion. So the first question is we have to find the fruits that are only available in store A. Yeah, from the two table we can see that uh, these are the fruits available in each of the particular store. We can see from the store A table that apple, orange, tomato and mango are available in store A and apple, banana, mango and watermelon are available in store B. Now the question is asking us to find the fruits that are only available in store A. So if you can see this is the store A table, Venn diagram for store A table and store B table and we can see that store A table has orange, tomato, apple and mango, store B has apple, mango, banana and watermelon and the question is we have to find the fruits that are only available in store A. So we have to find orange and tomato as the result because orange and tomato is only available in store A and which is not available in store B because store B contain apple mango banana and watermelon and apple and mango is common to both store A and store B but orange and tomato is available only in store A. Here we have to use the concept of left join with exclusion because we only ele want elements from the table A which is store A but we don't want any elements which are common to both table A and B and also elements which are present only in table B we don't want. So we will use the concept of left join with exclusion. Now let us write the query for the same. Select star from store A and now we are going to join the table using left join condition. Left join the second table which is store B and I am giving an alias name for both store A and store B table because at the time of joining it will be easy for us. Now we have to write the condition on which we are going to join the two tables and we are using the name columns from both the tables a, a dot name and b dot name now let us try to run this query and see what the result we are getting now we have got we have joined the two tables using the left join condition but if we go back to the venn diagram we know that we only want orange and tomato as the output because these are the fruits which are only available in store now let us come back to the table and see the result what we have got. So we want orange and tomato as the output. So we can simply write a where condition here where the b dot name column that is the column which is coming from the store b table that is b dot name has a null value that is where b dot name is null and one more thing the question is telling us to find only the column name. So we will change this star to a dot name because we want the column from the table A which is store A. Now let us run this query and see the result. Now as you can see we have got the result that is name column with orange and tomato that is these two are the fruits which are only available in store A and 
not available anywhere else. This is left join with exclusion. Here we have to take care of the condition. This one, this condition is making the join with exclusion. The other way around, till this much, this is simply left join. Now let us come to the second question. The second question is, we have to find the fruits that are only available in store B. Earlier we found the fruits that are only available in store A. Now we have to find the fruits that are only available in store B. That is banana and watermelon. The result should be banana and watermelon. For this we will use the concept of right join with exclusion because we only want results or, or records which are available in table A but not common to both table A and B as well as the records not present in table A. Now let us write a query for right join with exclusion because, because we are using the concept right join with exclusion here. So we will start with select star from store A giving an alias name for store A and its right join the second table store b an alias name b and the condition is a dot name equal b dot name because name column we are using to join the two tables now let us run this query and see what is the result till now we have wrote the query only for right join the exclusion condition we haven't added and now let us see the result and add the condition for exclusion now, from the Venn diagram, we can see that we only want result as banana and watermelon. We will come back to the result and see. We want banana and watermelon as the result. So, in the where condition, what we will do is, we will write a where clause such that a dot name is null because corresponding to banana and watermelon, in the result table, we have a dot name as null. So, we will come here and write a where condition where a dot name is null now let us run this query and we got banana and watermelon also it is given that the result set should contain the name of the fruit that is name column only from the second table because it's a right join so we only want instead of the star b dot name now let this, let us run this query and see the result now we have banana and watermelon which are only available in store B. So this was the concept of right join with exclusion. Now let us go to a third question which make use of the concept of full outer join with exclusion. So the question is fruits that are exclusive to a store that is fruits that are only available in a particular store that should not be available anywhere else. So if we come to the Venn diagram, we have to find fruits that are only available in a store and we don't want apple and mango in the result because both apple and mango are available in both store A and store B. The result set should contain orange, tomato, banana and watermelon because these fruits are only available in a single store. This question makes use of the concept of full outer joint with exclusion. We are not considering the common part. Instead, we are taking the results which are only available in table A and only available in table B. Now, let us write a query for the same. Select star from store A. Store A. Give me an alias name A. Now, it's full outer join. The second table which is store B. And the condition is a dot name equal p dot name. Now let us run this query. So till this, it is the query for full outer join. So we'll get the entire table in the result. But if we come back to the Venn diagram, we know that we only want orange, tomato, banana, and watermelon in the result. So if we inspect the result, we can write a where condition to fetch the required result. Here we can write that we know orange and tomato we want. So in the where condition we can write b dot name is null. 
where b dot name is null also we know that we want banana and watermelon so corresponding to that we know that a dot name is null so we'll write an or condition or a dot name is null now let us run this query and see the result so now we have got in the result orange tomato banana and watermelon but the result set should contain the name of the fruit in a single column so instead of this star we will use a case statement and write the query for the same so opening a bracket inside the bracket we will write a case statement which contains the case when a dot name is not null then it's a dot name we have to take a dot name itself that is orange and tomato and when a dot name is null we have to write a second condition is null then the result should be fetched from the second b dot name column that is banana watermelon so we'll write here b dot name and we will end the case statement next we'll give an alias name as name now let us run the query and see our result now as you can see we have got the result as orange tomato banana and watermelon now let us inspect the result and see so we have orange tomato banana and watermelon which are only available in a single store and which is not common to any other store so this is our result and the concept we use we are using here is full outer join with exclusion thank you